freaking at it. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad. <laughs> I'm a work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. Move slow when I move fast, and that's fact. Welcome to episode 55 of this Road to Glory News edition with White Talk FC, where we take White Talk from League 2 all the way up to the Premier League into the Champions League. When we reach the Champions League final, this series will end no matter that game goes. To get there, we can only use Youth Academy plays or Regions. No real play whatsoever, that is the plot. Currently playing Championship, we are in Season 4, and things are looking decent. We come with well, we have two losses in a row, and uh, now we're playing Norwich, we're playing them home at the close ground. Then, the second game of the episode, we have a cup game against Brentford FA Cup, so we are kind of forced to push through. Third game of the episode, taking on Sunderland, playing them away, and then we end this episode with another away game, this time Coventry on the 23rd. And then it's just a week left of the transfer window and speaking of the transfer window we have been receiving a bid from Bayern Munich on our right back Adams considering the fact that Campos is out for the season he has you know he picked up a seven month injury with his knee injury that he got in the last game against Bolton we don't have well we were supposed to play Adams there as a left back but due to the fact that Bayern Munich goes for him, I can't really see that I could turn it down and still consider me having sort of semi-realistic. <sighs> so yeah, I, I had it. I accepted that bid. So here you can see Miss the Michael has been approached by Bayern Munich. We have accepted the bid. It was a lot of money too. And due to the fact that Campos is gone for seven months, that's the remaining part of the season. You know? Ouch. We have brought back Igor Silva. He has the potential to be special, but he's only 63 rated. This is a huge blow. To our defense line because Campos he has been you know he he has been amazing and he's a, one of the huge reasons him and and Stewart the wingbacks both wingbacks are they're a big part of, of our attacks because they, we start on the wingbacks as you have if you've seen this if this is the first episode you don't know what I'm talking about but if you've seen this you know that I, I, I like to play with my wingbacks and they are part of the attack and now the best one is gone for the rest of the season that sucks but you know what let's let's head to the first game let's check the kits out and let's let's hope that Silva got what it takes you know I mean we have lost two in a row it can't get any worse can it this is the kits we are playing in our red kit against their yellow green kits classical Norwich and it's gonna be a tough one but we we need to we need to turn this losing streak you know it's time to get a draw at least or winning I prefer winning of course buckle up let's go so time for kick up why talk FC versus Norwich they have started the game come on boys we do have brought up a, two players um, one is, well both of them are on the bench actually. Correra, oh he's advancing, he is, he's on fire. Bryant, oh finds the back of the net with a cheeky shot. We deserve that. Okay, maybe not. But it's a goal still, I'll take it. 
Brian scores his 12th goal of the season, giving us a 1 goal to 0 lead against Norwich. Amazing, fantastic, I'll take it, definitely. Jeez. Brian. Silva, he comes in with a cross. Okay, pull the trigger, it hits the post. Jeez. And we can't stop that one. Nesevich scores his 10th goal of the season, giving us a 2 goal to 0 lead, and I will definitely take this one. Oh, they... Come on, get rid of this one. Win it, win it, win it. No, we are not even close to winning that one. It's a 2-1 in the 49th. Wow. It's a 2-1 game, and it's half time. How is that not a penalty? How is that? They are. Jeez, are you kidding me? They killed Bryant in the box. And that's not a penalty? Oh god, and they're gonna get to 2 all now instead. So we're gonna be. We were supposed to have a penalty, and it's a 2 all. And the way it is a 2 all. That's just pain. So it's a 2 all in the 71st minute, and we have made substitution, given the debut of right winger N and also the central defender Hobbs. Oh, we have a chance. Oh, it's too close to the keeper. I just. And it is game. It's a 2 all draw, so we get a point, but we had a 2 goal lead, and we dropped that one. And the way they scored, it's. It's still painful. They robbed us of a penalty. So we are now ready for the second game of the episode, taking on Brentford away in the FA Cup. We need to push through, and yeah, it's not going to be easy. They are, the, you know, the lead of the championship. They are quite a few points ahead of us, and. We lost 4-1 to them when we played them the last time, so it's 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 not gonna be easy. But without further ado, let's see if we can actually shake them. Buckle up, let's go. We are ready now, Brentford versus White Rock FC, and we are kicking the game off. Come on, boys. Yes, and oh, he's on his heels. That, that's no good, you can't do that. Big shot, big save. He gets the ball, and then he loses it immediately, and there's no foul according to the referee where they cut him down but that is a goal ouch so we are down a goal in the 26th Chet Adams finds the back of the net with a really nice finish too oh oh get there and it's missed. Comes in with a cross. Oh, it's. I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry. Oh, big say. Okay. Now that's how to. That's a beautiful pass inside the box for him. Why would you take that run? I don't understand. Oh, beautiful. Oh, big save. Not really, but it's still set off. And that, oh, that's a good thing. Come on, take a shot. Anderson, oh God. Taking the shot, oh, that's a big save. Get there, last thing. Nope, we lost the ball. Oh God. We are out of the cup. It's a two goal to zero loss and we are out of the FA Cup and the board is not gonna be happy.
We are ready for the third game of the episode, taking on Sunderland away. We haven't won a game yet in this episode, so hopefully it's gonna change now, but we're playing Sunderland away, so it's not gonna be easy. We're in the blue kits, they are in the red, white striped ones, classical, let's just go. Buckle up. So kick off Sunderland versus Whitehawk FC and we are rocking. Come on boys. Nice ball for Sakistian who cuts inside. Oh, he managed to. Lee finds the back of the net with a nice, nice attack. And it's, we're a goal up. Lee's course is 24th of the season, giving us a one goal to zero lead against Sunderland away. And that is, we're gonna need that. Oh, nice. Taking, oh, that's, they, they cut Lee down from behind. I think he got injured. Oh, this is not good. Jeez. No. <sighs> Big save. We don't have the biggest squad either. Oh, look at Jimenez. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's on fire. <laughs> that's nasty. It's a two goal lead and that's a disgusting finish from Jimenez. He is cold as ice. Goal number 14 for Jimenez, giving us a two goal lead and hopefully we can keep a clean sheet. It's not okay. If they score now, we're not gonna be able to stop them. <laughs> In shot. Silva, he is giving them some issues at least. It's not as easy as it is. Yes, it is. It's a two one in 66 minutes and we can't stop them. They are all over us. It's a 2-1 game, we tried to, but we just couldn't. Jeez, that was that was some pretty good attack, to be honest. It was a power to pass, I saw that it would never work. So here they come. Oh, he... It's a 2 all I can't stop them. So it's a 2 all draw, and jeez. Not really sure what to do. Well, we have Jimenez. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh, it's too close. No, it's perfect. We have a goal. 75th, we are a goal up again. Goal number 15 for Jimenez, giving us a three goals to two lead against Sunderland, which is brutal, but it's, it's so fragile because I can't stop them when they they are attacking and I have nothing like this. <laughs> I can't stop them. They are scoring in every attack. I just I just can't stop them at all. Wow. So it's a three all game now. I know that we need to, oh god. Leave me alone. I don't really have anything to <sighs> big say boil. Kirk right? Oh, he cannot get to it. Kirk right gets the ball again. He cuts inside. Oh, that's nasty. But Thorpe scores in the 95th. Thorpe scores his fifth goal. And <laughs> we win this game. Four goals to three. What's going on? I'll take it. So, fourth and final game of the episode, but we have another injury. Our goal scorer Cameron Lee, who has scored 24 goals, I think, this season. He's out for four weeks. So we are gonna have to recall, and I'm, I'm, I've decided to recall Obathby. So let's go check the kids out and play the last game of the episode. We are now going to play the fourth and final game. We are in our red and they are in their white blue striped ones. Whitehawk FC versus Coventry City, but we're playing away, of course. 
Off this one, we're gonna have a check at the league table and hopefully we are gonna stay away from getting more injuries because we don't have the strongest squad and we already have two of our first 11 players injured for one for seven months and one for one month and that's painful. Hopefully, hopefully, all back can actually pick up where lead was taken off. So without further ado, let's just buckle up. Let's go. It is time for kickoff. Country City versus White Hawk FC and they are rocking now. Come on boys. I need to find a way to start playing the defense I played before before Campos got injured. I don't know what I done wrong there, but apparently it's a lot because I can't. I just can't. Go Jimenez. Go 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 go. He has a bear. Oh that's a nice <laughs> Well that's a way to go. I think it's an own goal. I think he tackled me and the ball inside. Jimena celebrates like he scored, but I think I think the referee might take that away from him. It's an own goal. We are a goal up though. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he is outrunning his opponent. Oh, he's trying to do the same thing again to sneak by. Here they go. Big shot, big save. It's gonna go along and we're gonna get up on our toes, win this. <sighs> Boy, saves the day. Wow, he That's actually. Nice one. So Kissian is attacking, he is firing away, and we have a two-goal lead. So Kissian far post, fourth of the season. Thank you. So, Sakisan's so fourth of the season gives us a two goal lead. I've seen worse. Oh god, I got the wrong player. <sighs> nice one, Jimmy. I'm cut inside now. They can't stand a chance if you do. Four post. It's disgusting, but it's a goal. Goal number 16 for Jimenez, three goals up from the academy due to the fact that Shields went out on loan. Oh, big shot, big save. So De Oliveira makes his debut as a White Talk FC player. Oh, that's a sneaky shot in the 89th and it's a 3-1 game. Kicking it off, it's a 3-1 game. We should be good to go unless we get there. Oh, he managed to, but there's a big save. Final whistle, three goals to one win away against Coventry, and I will take that definitely. Let's go check the league table out. So this is the league table after 28 rounds played. We are sitting second. Actually, pretty. We're nine points out of Middlesbrough and West Brom. But we're also eight points behind Brentford. But Brentford is amazing. We well, they they beaten us four goals to one in the league, and then we had them in the FA Cup, and they got us two goals to zero. We closed the transfer window. Nothing really happened. We're gonna have a quick look after this um, on what happened during the the transfer window in season four. But. I, I'm happy with this one, you know, it's it's almost, I can I can end the episode right now and be happy. But before we do that, let's have a quick look at the transfer windows closure and what happened during the January. So this is pretty much it. We had sent Carr out on loan. We did sell Taylor to Family Cow for 4 million euros. We did send McNeil to Toulouse out on a loan spell. We have McDonald that has been sold to stud Glasson. 1.5 million euros for him. We sold Horton to Amor Bieta. 1.550 million euros. And we sold Lee, the left wing back, to Bentixbor. 1 million euros. Santos was sold to Mielbe. He, he came up from the Youth Academy and didn't play for us. He was sold immediately. But we got 850 
6,000 euros for him, and that's a pretty decent one. Mac Adams went to Bayern Munich, 31.5 million euros. Shields went up on loan to Paris, and that's everything actually that happened. Um, so we sold a few, quite a few. Now, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Smash that like button like it's no tomorrow. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do. If you do, welcome aboard. Glad to have you here. And welcome to the family. Now, if you don't, maybe next time. All right. Take good care of yourself. Stay safe, stay healthy. Be kind to each other. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Till then, one love. We say no!